Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Primesberger, editor of eWeek. Thanks for joining us today on this latest segment of eWeek eSpeaks. Our guest uh, interviewee today is Eric Mizell. Eric is the um, VP of Engineering at a new company called Overops. And it's new for many of us, but maybe not to you, but maybe Eric, you can tell us a little bit about the company. Welcome. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So, uh, so yeah, Overops. Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Man. Go ahead, uh, tell us what Overops does. So Overops is a continuous reliability solution. Uh, the, the gist of it is, is, you know, as the world is moving faster with CI, CD, um, we're running into software reliability issues. You know, we want to move fast. We want to deploy early and often. And it's interesting to shift from trying to deploy code once every six months to once every three months to monthly, daily, weekly. And people are trying to do it as often as possible. It starts to disrupt our process and the things we used to do. So we need more tooling, better tooling, things that help us identify issues sooner and then resolve them sooner. So that's really um, what Oprops is about, is helping that process and giving you more insights to the quality of your app, giving you better feedback to developers and helping them be more productive. Is there anything substantially different from the concept of continuous reliability to the concept of business uh, continuity? Or is it just, uh, is just a matter of the of the language i think it's the language right so the continuous reliability really is focused on the code itself right not the business right we're focusing on code the quality of code in through the entire life cycle uh, from pre-prod to prod giving you this rich context and and insights into how it's performing and how it's doing to help you increase your business uh uh, velocity and, and have less issues uh, in production. Yeah. Can you walk us through how a user would use this? Is it a cloud platform or is it on a server or what? So we've got three models on how you can deploy. Um, so we do have a full SaaS offering. We have a mixed offering, which we call hybrid. And then we have an on-premise offering. And the reason we have those three is because of the data we collect uh, can be sensitive. Right, so um, over ops, when we detect issues within code, we actually get source code, we get variables, and environment state at the time. So if you can envision a customer's buying in a shopping cart, we might have data that you don't want exposed. And so that data would then you'd want to have control of it. We have PII redaction to help secure it. But the idea is it's a decision for customers. So easy to consume, whether I'm in the cloud, on premise, or hybrid. Uh, very, very lightweight and easy to deploy and consume. So did you build your own security um, process in this? And uh, have you used open source uh, components in putting this together? There's a lot of open source under the covers for certain. Um, and security follows standard protocols, right? So SSL layers, HTTPS, you know, uh, secure encryption channels and security at rest. Those are all standard libraries. Okay, can you give uh, can you give us just a, a high level example of a use case of a customer? You can name the customer, or you can maybe just name the vertical. It's up to you. I prefer the name of the customer, but they <laughs> can't do that. I understand. Uh, just just um, how they how they use it and what the results are. So sure, I can give you a couple. Um, so let's talk about a production use case for an insurance company. Um, they deploy their code. As you can envision, new release goes out, it goes out at off peak hours. And then the next day, customers start using it and they actually had an issue where they couldn't do open enrollment. That's kind of painful. Pretty <laughs> and important. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. Very important. So um, Overops is able to help identify that for them and give them an alert and they could go in root cause in our root cause screen and see the issue quickly and resolve it quickly, right? So you're getting, what, what I love about the way Overops works is it tells you things that are important, like what's new and critical without any foresight, no code changes, nothing. It auto detects it. Since we index your code and give you what we call a digital fingerprint, if you will, we know it's new and we noticed this issue for this company and they gave them an alert and they were like, whoa, we need to fix this before we get to peak. And they were able to do that. That's a powerful production use case. 
Now, were they able to, what was um, OverOps able to trace the code in the entire workflow and then find where the problem was and then alert you? Is that what it did? So what's interesting is, is we're, again, very focused on the code, right? And so when an issue is encountered, you're, this is a Java solution um, for this customer. We actually are able to detect all the Java errors. And when we detect those, we're able to decide, hey, is this new? Is it something we've seen before? And since it was new, we're able to alert based off of it. Um, that's what makes it unique. It's not designed, you don't have to go in and set business rules and transactions. It's basically uh, detects everything automatically and then gives you an alert with context that you can make a decision on, do I need to fix this now or is it okay? Okay, gotcha. And you had another idea of a, of a or example of a, a use case? I do, I do. So we have a major telco out of Europe and they use us in the shift left world. So what we were finding or what they were finding is um, that the developers were quote unquote fudging or faking the test cases so that they would pass. Not so fun, right? And then of course they go to production and then it's, it's a problem. Right. So the, the quote from our, our champion there is no one can hide from overops because we detect everything. So now when they run their Jenkins pipeline in CI world, we have a quality report and that quality report is the gate subjective, right? It's, it's not someone's hunch or someone said, oh, it's okay. It gives you a report saying, hey, there's five new errors, three critical. They have to work the report daily and that's a requirement now. And what they found is a, a tremendous uh, improvement in quality. Now it's a culture there. They actually comp their developers based off which team has the least amount of errors. And now they are very driven to that quality and the test cases have improved because you can't fake them anymore. So that's a, again, a, a huge shift left a win for that customer. That's great. So um, tell me a little bit about the company. How long has it been around? And um, uh, generally speaking, what kinds of uh, clients do you have at this point? Sure. So we were founded eight years ago out of Tel Aviv. So super smart um, folks in, in Israel from the intelligence community uh, founded OverOps. Um, we started selling roughly three and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I joined the company two and a half years ago. So we have offices in San Francisco, Orlando, and Tel Aviv now. Mm -hmm. um, the customers, we really started off as a SaaS company trying to mm -hmm. get market fit. So a lot of uh, small businesses uh, using OverOps very easily, right? To swipe your credit card. We've since shifted in the last two years to be very enterprise focused. So large banks, large telcos, uh, dot coms, you know, uh, web fronts, uh, retailers are our, our biggest customers now. Mm -hmm. And of course they're driving where we're going. This is where a lot of these ideas like code quality gates are coming from. Um, now we have it on the, on the shift right side or CV side where we have continuous verification starting to plug into some of those continuous delivery tools. So the evolution with the enterprise customers has really driven us forward, um, in the, in the last year, year and a half. Very good. Eric Mizell, thank you very much for, um, for joining us on eWeek eSpeaks today. You're the uh, uh, director of, uh, or the um, VP of engineering for data, uh, for uh, OverOps. And if someone were to come try to find you on the web, where, where would they go? OverOps.com for certain. So simple as that. Good. I'm glad yeah. you're able to get that domain because sometimes you can't, you can't do it. <laughs> for certain, yeah. All right, Eric, thanks very much for being our guest today. Thank you. I appreciate the time. And uh, for all of our listeners out there, have a great rest of your eWeek. Thanks for joining us on eWeek eSpeaks. Go to eWeek.com to hear more conversations with IT thought leaders.